We had a division rivalry between the Mets and the Phillies. The ballpark was full. It was a really lively atmosphere, but you know, at the time I just thought I was sitting down to do a regular baseball game. We didn't know what was going on. We just knew something special happened. And I don't know how to, to describe that when you don't know what's going on, but you know it's special. The afternoon was spent on pins and needles. I wasn't watching sports that night. May the 1st, 2011. Another packed house here at Citizens Bank Park and an awfully nice night for a ball game. Here in Philadelphia, the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies Sunday night baseball. You know, it's always a rivalry when a New York team and a Philadelphia team get together. I think for the most part, we respected one another, but I think certainly we didn't like each other. When I was wearing red and white pinstripes, I couldn't stand orange, black, and blue. I just couldn't. <laughs> the competition is rivalry. It's based on proximity. There's a little bit of a big brother, little brother issue going on, I think. It's always extra special, obviously. That rivalry is always electric atmosphere. Even in our production meeting prior to, I remember someone making the point that this is the only show in town. And by that, I mean really the only major sporting event going on across the country. And that's not often the case. No two count on the lead. On the swing of the foul tip held by Paulino. Lee. Have you ever played baseball or anything similar to it? I played cricket. Rounders? I played rounders. Rounders probably close. Yeah, rounders is close to baseball. Isn't baseball is like a cool version of rounders. Yeah, like, I like baseball's baseball. massive in America. Yeah. I've never played, but I've always loved like you know the pitching, the batting, just the style of it. I'm like, yeah, it's a it's a good sport. Yeah, you can just tell. He strikes out, one down. Are watching the game. We have uh, monitors here watching Twitter on the laptop, and the White House reporters that I follow, they started talking back and forth about the president has called a news conference. Our news editor, Claire Smith, passed a note along at some point to me, POTUS news conference tonight. To me, honestly, you know, I'm locked in on what's going on in the field. <laughs> I'm not even factoring in what this could mean. Young strikes him out as the Phillies out. leave the bases loaded here in the seventh inning. It was a one-run ball game. The tying run was on base, and Ryan Howard's coming up. But all of a sudden, you become aware of something else. I looked down at my phone, and I got a text from a buddy who always watched games, and he said, they got Bin Laden. Bobby nudged Duh. me with his elbow and showed me his phone. You know, this isn't in the play-by-play -play handbook. They don't tell you how to deal with this one. There were rumors that Osama bin Laden had been, uh, you know, the United States had got him and that they'd killed him. Tom Archer, our producer, right away said, we're trying to corroborate it. Don't say anything yet. We're preparing a statement. Uh, so you try to put it out of your mind for a second and you keep calling the game. They've only got two hits in this game. How do they even stay focused? Because you know that news is so Massive. big. Like they've been after Bin Laden for I don't know. I I've not looked into like the dates and how long it went on for. But I remember when I was younger, just hearing about it, and it went on for years. If anything, it was like just ongoing. Like the fact they could finally kind of sit down and say the job has been done. That's massive news. So they killed him. Hmm. Why didn't they imprison him? This is a, so there's a lot of conspiracy theories, guys. I know some of you disagree with a lot of them. Unless like their them. lives were a threat. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> some people, the conspiracy is he's still, he's still alive. alive and there's no body, like, because the body was in the, they apparently, I think the body got thrown out or something. And that's there's, there's something, the body was in the water in the end and it wasn't recovered along the lines of that. But and a lot of people say, oh, because there's no body, it didn't happen. But then a lot of people will say, 
You think Bin Laden's going that out peacefully with his hands behind his back? Of course not. He's going that. He's probably tried to kill them while going down. Hence down. why... He's shooting. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, he's, not, he's not chilling. He's not like peacefully coming out. He knows he's dying regardless. It's life and death for he him. He must have went in gun blazing. Yeah, yeah of course. And, and they, obviously in, they had to retaliate. And, and on team, the process he died. It was team six. You know, the ones we reacted to oh, with the Jessica. It was oh. the same same team that took up Bin Laden. Which they is, don't mess around. They don't fuck about. No. We learned that. We learned that yeah. on our previous ones. They've got three hits in this game. Mayberry getting the wave. The throw from Bay, not in time. And the Phillies have tied it. Close game as well. When we understood what was happening and that this was less a rumor and more fact, we said we're going to bring the announcers on camera at the end of the eighth inning. Ground ball to second. He's out. Some breaking news for those of you who have been with us on the ball game. ABC News is reporting that Osama bin Laden has been killed. Imagine and a presidential that. news conference is upcoming momentarily. I think thereafter, we had our eyes open for when that bit of news was going to find its way into the 40,000 plus people who were at Citizens Bank Park. Let alone the people watching on the TV as well. At the very beginning of the ninth inning, um, my now wife, fiance at the time, just happened to be on her phone, I guess. Um, it wasn't the most entertaining game for her. On CNN, an article popped up about, uh, it's not confirmed yet, but it looks like bin Laden has been killed. And then, you know, I, I turned to my fiance and said, hey, look at this, this is something. Hmm. My friend next to me, she suddenly lets out a, oh my God, we killed bin Laden. After that, it just, everything changed. One thing I love about Americans, how they say we killed bin Laden, like they're so together as a country compared to, you know, the UK, in my opinion, like it's us. It's not, you know, them, sing, them, they, 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 yeah. not the army. It's not the military. It's we as a yeah. as a unit. I love that. Got a chant of USA as the news goes through. The USA, crowd. everyone shouting it. <laughs> there were two events going on at once. One was a baseball game, and one is a hugely significant world event, which people one by one are finding out about around the ballpark. Once the word was started to leak out, we were told to find people sharing cell phone information with people beside them, find people that were excited jumping up and down. That night, it was pretty easy to find good shots. That's when I decided to pull out my phone. It just kind of struck me as the, this is like a once in a lifetime kind of moment. It is, yeah. USA! 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 They forgot about the uh, the baseball game after yeah. that. Once the news got about. The thing is, it's such a massive, like they said, a moment. Yeah, it's huge. And as you've described earlier, you remember it from childhood. Yeah, going on for years. It has been going on for years. So this is massive. Mm. USA! There's no place in the world right now where there are more Americans gathered than in that ballpark. And they were all experiencing this rush of emotion simultaneously and spontaneously. The players, of course, had no idea what was going on. They're like, what the hell? Very rarely do you hear USA chants break out, you know, out of nowhere. So it's kind of just a, a bit of a state of confusion. Then you get locked in for your bag. And I'm thinking, what national team's playing and who are they playing and who they beat? <laughs> was there a soccer game going on? I thought maybe there was a hockey game going on. <laughs> I was confused and it kind of took me off of what I was doing. Just missed outside of the knees. And a base runner for the that must be so distracting for them. Time. Right is running yeah. and steals it. Let's go down to field level with Wendy Nix. Wendy? Well, Dan, you're exactly right. As word begins to filter through the ballpark about Osama bin Laden, the players, at least in the Phillies dugout, are clearly unaware. They don't have the same devices that we have. I was directly adjacent to the Phillies dugout. 
they're looking at me, like, you know, and they're looking at each other, and they're looking at their, their manager, and the obvious question, do you know what's going on? And here comes the USA chant again. Funny story, guys, very off topic, but we're going to say it. Yeah? So in our previous video, as we mentioned, obviously I'm born and bred in London in the UK and you know, I've been here for 30 years now and rarely you will see a British flag, like one in a million houses will have a British flag, yeah? We're driving to go get some food today. <laughs> <laughs> what did we see? We see, wait, we see a flag in the distance. Yeah. Like, what the hell? There's a flag. We thought maybe it's a shop advertising there, you know, whatever it is. As we get closer, what flag do we see in the UK? More than our own flag. An American flag. An American flag Proudly waving. Proudly waving in the sun. Bear in mind, I swear to you, every thousand houses, you'll probably get one British flag if you're lucky. I think in the whole area, I've never seen a flag. Yeah. I saw a flag today, but it had a smiley face on it. Yeah. It was a yellow flag with a black smiley face. We live now face. on the outskirts of London, and it's very, you know, British populated. And I'm talking proper British populated, like old school British. And they don't have flags. One American flag waving, strong, strong in the yeah. winds. <laughs> so proud. We didn't know it. what was going on. We just knew something special happened. And you're in an out, but you're an in. You're a part of it, but part of what? <laughs> Jason Bay is going to be the batter. I got no idea what's going on, and I'm Canadian, and I'm thinking... <laughs> Poor guy. I've been called a lot of things, especially in Philly, but, you know, the, the USA thing, they're, they're trying to get under my skin. Oh, uh, poor Chirac, guy. The uh, Tied at one in the ninth inning. Ooh, good hit. In the air to center field. Okay, catch it. Oh. Uh. everybody's coming into the dugout and we're all kind of looking at each other and you know obviously the chants are still going and we're sitting there going okay what's happened here and the trainer kind of breaks the news to all of us that's kind of how it spreads is is by that word of mouth obviously you know no question the baseball game becomes secondary to obviously yeah you know the news and, and the president you know addressing the country you know a few minutes after that the white house has just announced that uh, the president will address the nation about one minute from now. <coughs> Obama. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. What we remembered right away was uh, the chance that we started hearing outside the White House. And, you know, my working assumption was is that if people had gathered that quickly outside of the White House, chanting USA, USA, then across the country, the same thing was taking place. USA, 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 USA. And that's a strike away from victory. Got him. The breaking ball to get him Mayberry, and finally the New York Mets hang on to beat the Phillies two to one tonight. Here we are, a team from New York, a team from Philadelphia, rivals, playing one another, trying to knock each other's teeth out, but the game isn't that significant anymore. It's weird uh, just being able to high five and hug Phillies fans and have that common ground fans you're supposed to be enemies with. All of a sudden, it became a moment of celebration, a moment of pride. For one night, you know, it wasn't Philadelphia, New York, it was the United States of America coming together. That's something special. Not gonna lie, the UK can learn a lot from the US with that sense. Everyone's so separate in the UK. The America, the togetherness is it's beautiful. I feel like it depends on the circumstances. Like, for example, I came across a video on social media and long story short, a IDF military? Yeah. 
IDF soldier. Yeah. He pulled a woman's hijab off and mm. then a, another woman who has no relation to this hijabi woman came and defended her and said, what you've done is absolutely disgusting. And she's having a go at the guy as well. So I think it depends on the circumstances. People can come together, but it's not like you said. It's not, it's not a day. We don't thing. see people. We don't see any houses here waving the British flag. Proudly. No one even says hello to each other. They, they don't. Like they just strangers don't smile at each other. Like it's just, if you say hello to a person, Walking past, they'll think you're weird and you're. you're I think that's more. To... I think that's more in London, though. That's London. Because yeah. when we moved to Essex, we saw people randomly just talk to each other. They're more friendly. I remember I was walking in my in one of our old towns, and then someone was on the way to the post office. Long story short, uh, a lady was directing the guy, and he goes, "She goes, oh, shall I take it to the post office for you?" Oh, this is a random stranger. I mean, yeah. God knows if she was going to take it no, or not. But the fact she that wouldn't. she offered to yeah. take it to the post office because she was going different. there. Yeah. In London, people just mind their own business. But what a moment for the US yeah. and the world, not even just the US. The it, world. If anything, yeah. the US military there done the world a favor. Because yeah. like uh, Obama said, he was the leader of Al Qaeda and he was the reason for thousands of deaths, men, women and children. Uh, in the West and the East, not just, you know, the Western people, it was the East people as well, His, their own people who wouldn't uh, support the Al-Qaeda's uh, movement. Mm. Um, they look at them as traitors and, you know, you do it in the name of Islam and kill their own people because of it. So, hey, it is what it is. Thank you guys for recommending that video. I got a bit emotional, held it back, but it is what it is. For now, peace out. Bye.